Hey guys, it's Josh here from Free Magic Live. In today's video, I want to teach you the deck flip. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome to my office out here in the sun in, uh, in South Bank. We're going to go through the, uh, the deck flip today, or the uh, 360 deck flip as they call it. And this is just a little, a little um, bit you can add into your routines and it's good to add as a magic moment for when things happen. Um, but basically all that's happening is you have the whole deck and you're just doing, a f you're just flipping the deck and that's why you practice so that doesn't happen. But here's the breakdown of it. Now it's good to actually practice first with your phone. This is how I practice or with the cards in the box first. Um, so I would practice with my phone a lot when I'm just chilling. Um, iPhone. And this is how you do it. So. You have the cards in mechanics grip, okay? Now I recommend practicing this uh, over a bed or something or so that if you drop the cards, it's not a big deal. So you're holding the cards in mechanics grip and all that you're changing is the mechanics grip, then your index finger goes underneath and curls under the, the deck. And with your other fingers, you're gonna pull down as you push up with your index finger like so. And what's happening is you have that pressure and then you're gonna let go with these fingers. And as you let go, you sort of push with this finger a little bit. And what happens is you let go and that allows it to flip around. Now, uh, when you first start practicing, you'll notice that when you do it, all the cards sort of just sort of fly everywhere and the whole deck sort of opens up. The way you stop that is by compressing the air that's in the deck. And the way you do that, usually, usually when you do this, that stops that. Because if I was to just hold the deck flat and then try and do it, there'll be too much air and it would go everywhere. So you kind of compress it and then you flip it. Occasionally the top card might pop off like what just happened then. Um, so get used to the knack of, of doing this so that doesn't happen. Let me see if I can do it for you. Sometimes, sometimes a card will, the top card will flip open, which is even cooler if that is their selected card, but uh, you get the point. So compress it, hold it, flip it, that is the deck flip. As a side note guys, just some, uh, some tips of where you can add this into your routines. Uh, one is if you're doing an ambitious card routine where their card goes into the middle and then it jumps to the top, the flip could be the actual moment that it gets to the top. So it could be, the premise could be that the card, as it flips around, it makes its way to the top. Another way is if you do a triumph routine where you have half the cards mixed in face up and face down and then by the end all the cards are back the right way except their card, that flip is a great way to do it. Or even um, just having one person's card put in the deck and then by doing the flip their card is reversed. Um, that's a great, that's, a, that's actually probably my favourite way of, of, of presenting the deck flip in your routines. Have a go, let me know if you have any other trick recommendations for adding this deck flip in and uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Do you guys happen to have any headphones on you at all? Like Oh perfect, cool. Is that okay if we borrow them for a second? Okay. He actually did it. <laughs> Uh, brilliant. He wasn't really meant to cut them. Oh, really? Oh, hey, yeah, go for it. Yeah. On the count of three. Oh! <laughs> I'm hoping it works too, let's try it. There we go. told me to cut the edge from the scissors and yeah and, and join them back together. 
Nah, it's too complicated. See that?